before they're gone. Local 3 School Patrol, covering the classrooms in your community. Star Wars fans everywhere are excited for May the 4th, the day that we all get to say without feeling funny about it. May the 4th be with you, and the CFC certainly is getting into the fun with a Star Wars themed night on the field at Finley Stadium. So happy to have Calvin Claggett back on the show representing the CFC along with Danica Collins. Great to have you both. Great to Thank you very see much. you. Did Thank I you. say it right? You always feel like you're saying it funny. May the 4th be with you. That's <laughs> the right thing, right? Absolutely. And y'all are the only or the first team in your league to do the Star Wars theme night? Are y'all the only ones having a good time? Yeah, absolutely. So we are the first MLS Next Pro team to, to bring this partnership with Disney and Lucasfilm, uh, and we're doing it right here in the city of Chattanooga. Um, it, it's pretty incredible. Um, and the beautiful part about Disney and Lucasfilms is there's always some sort of kind of charitable uh, and philanthropic act. And so mm. uh, Chattanooga Football Club has given out about uh, 500 tickets to youth to come and enjoy the match and to engage uh, in the fun with Star Wars. And the beautiful part is merging the world uh, yeah. between sci-fi fantasy Star Wars and then obviously soccer. Is it a night game or a day game? It is a night game. So will there be lightsabers in the stands or we, do you know? <laughs> we will have all the lightsabers in the world for okay. people to play with. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So um, really y'all are incorporating an awful lot of things as I understand it Danica mm -hmm. in the month of May the month happens to be mental health awareness month so y'all seem to always find a way to throw yourself in as a team and an organization into things that benefit the community mm -hmm. another example this month. Yes so for mental health awareness month I mean CFC has always been very involved with the community um, but this month in May uh, we're going to step things up a little bit more and represent the journey of everyone who has either struggled with mental health issues or wants to uh, improve their lives. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna have a number of community visits as well as in-game activations and a number of our players sharing uh, what they do to uh, take care of themselves and improve their own mental health. You know, I think what's happened in that whole conversation about mental health is that people, there were plenty of people who tried to deny that they had a struggle, mm -hmm. but there were also people who truly didn't realize they had a struggle. If you get up and you face life every day, chances are something will be a hiccup in your day mm -hmm. and you've got to learn how to move past it. Absolutely. Right? And it, Chattanooga Football Club wants to make sure that we are a part of the conversation and stopping the stigma. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yes, we are a professional soccer organization, but also we're charged with improving the quality of life of the people of our region. And, you know, through this and the work that Danica is doing, uh, we're going to make sure that we are always advocates and that we aid in the efforts to stop the stigma. You had mentioned when you were here last time and Brooke Alvarez was on with you and you mentioned how little girls would come perhaps to watch the women's games and look to her as a role model. Mm -hmm. That happens with athletes and I think sometimes we can forget it as adults that people might look to us uh, for some leadership. So are your players going to be out kind of giving um, testimonials if they will or just kind of doing one-on-ones with businesses? What's it going to look like? I think it's going to be a bit of both, you know. I think the main part for the players is to be open and maybe a bit vulnerable about what they've experienced mm -hmm. and to, I suppose, give everyone in the community a bit of permission to consider their own needs and maybe what they could do themselves when presented with a role model like our players. You know, you look at them on the field and they are just these unbelievable athletes, all of them, but they didn't get there overnight. They had to put in a lot of hard work. Probably all of them had knocks along the way where they didn't get on the team of their dreams or something happened. Overcoming adversity is part of it if you're gonna to get to the level that they are playing on. Absolutely, absolutely. That kind of resilience discussion mm -hmm. is talked a lot about by head coach Rod Underwood. Um, and it's, it can be um, a difficult journey sometimes but the main point being that you have to believe in yourself and that you will be able to overcome what has been given to you. Okay, let's talk about the face of Chattanooga as a whole. We, once upon a time, I was told that we have something like 50 different nationalities uh, that are represented here in Chattanooga from not just citizenry, but to business owners and that type of thing. So this month uh, is Asian American Pacific Islanders Month in May. So y'all are highlighting that as well, is that right? Yes, that's correct. So with the highlighting of um, the contributions of Asian American Pacific Islander professionals in the area, we really wanted to shine a light on all of the progress that's been made and what they've done to improve the community around them. Mm -hmm. So you're highlighting local businesses and that type of thing. Is that going to just be at games, um, Calvin, where you'll have some 
how, how, what is that going to look like, the honoring them? Yeah, absolutely. So um, you know, Danica, um, who is a member of that community, has been uh, working diligently and, you know, we'll be spotlighting businesses. Gotcha. Um, and not only that, whether it's um, through all of our channels, uh, promoting and being the voice mm -hmm. um, as I use the word again, advocates, mm -hmm. and uh, bringing awareness and affinity. Um, and Chattanooga Football Club as a whole is inclusive of all. Uh, we're, we're a family of everybody. Right. And, um, and I just I want to applaud Danica um, and her service know. as uh, not only a woman in sports, but also a member of the AAPI uh, community. Well, we are thrilled to have you both. I hope that you win. You have to win the game uh, if we're all going to be out there with our lightsabers cheering you on. May the fourth be with you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and then watch for them to be out in the community throughout the month as it is mm -hmm. National Mental Health Awareness Month. And uh, it's much more than just life on that field. It's about life to support. So CFC, the website is? TV.CFCTix.com. And you can still get yours. Thank you. The Go Red for Women Luncheon is Friday, May 10th at the Chattanooga Convention Center. Join us as we connect and